Greg Olson finished this Monday night matchup with 181 yards off of 13 targets and 9 receptions. He was the consensus difference maker for both teams. I'm Sam Gold from Fuels.com, and in this video breakdown, we will talk about how the Panthers used a flood concept to attack the Bucks defense where he gained a decent percentage of those yards. The flood concept consists of a 3 level read used to vertically stretch the defense. This concept was used a few different times this game, including Olsen's 4th, 9th, and 11th targets. Looking closer at Olsen's 11th target, the Buccaneers are in cover 3 sky where the safety takes the outside curl flat zone with one safety deep. You will often see teams try to disguise this coverage with two safeties high pre-snap and then will shift into this coverage post-snap. Unfortunately for the Bucks, the strong safety number 23 Chris Conti completely gives away the intent pre-snap by stepping up into the box. Knowing his coverage, Anderson readjusts the play to set up his team for the flood on the left side of the field. The three level read is seen here where the quarterback will peek at the deep route and then will run a high low read on the underneath sideline defender. Olsen was the middle level receiver on these plays and in this play in particular, he finds the gap between the two sideline defenders for an easy 20 yard gain. On the Buccaneer side, the inside linebacker needs to carry the out route in order to stop this play. Stepping back to the fourth target, you have a slight variation of the traditional flood concept that we saw in the last play, but the result's still the same. The streak of the deep route clears out the deep right coverage, while the flat holds the linebackers in place, giving Olsen a wide open area to settle into by the sideline. Obviously, not all targets came on the flood concept, and really if you wanted to point out one trend from this game, it was Derek Anderson's trust in Olsen to make plays. On Olsen's third target, the Panthers run a seam smash concept from the right side of the formation. The Panthers are in shotgun trips right, while the Bucks show a too high safety look pre-snap, followed by their cover 2 defense. The too high safety look is what tells Anderson to start his reads on the right side of the field. Now traditionally, the seam route is your quick alert pass. If it's covered, you move on to the rest of your route combinations. In fact, some coaches actually don't even label it as a first read, but more like a check alert throw if you get the matchup you want. Well that's exactly what happened here in this play, except the linebacker actually carries the route well and is in position for any inside passes. Seeing this, Anderson places the pass high and outside to his tight end, who snags it out of the air for the 24-yard gain. This trend of complete trust continued throughout the game where Anderson pushed passes down the field, taking multiple shots to his tight end even while covered. And it was this trust that ultimately was the team's kryptonite where Anderson threw a goal line interception in the middle of fourth quarter. Anderson completely misses Brent Grimes, sitting in the flat waiting for the throw pulling in the interception. Throwing it out of bounds is the only smart move here, as it's first and goal from the one. If they scored a touchdown on any of the other plays from this down and distance, they realistically would have won the game. Looking over his targets and missed opportunities, Olsen really had one on the goal line in the middle of the third quarter. Olsen was wide open on a shallow cross for an easy score, but the pass was behind, not allowing him to bring it in. The Panthers still scored on the very next play with a run with Cameron Artis Payne. To be honest with you, this game was pretty painful to watch, but this game clearly showed evidence of how good Olsen is at finding soft spots in zones while being a mismatch at tight end. Well that's all I have for you, you can follow me on Twitter at Samuel Gold, and if you want more breakdowns of your favorite players, come to fieldgoals.com for our latest articles.